Here we are on the morning of day six of our adventure and uh, we are camped just outside of Jasper National Park. We got in very late last night and uh, ended up cooking anyways because we were starving and the kids were sleeping. We're just packing up. We decided that we want to camp in Jasper Park today. This is a beautiful site here. This is an Alberta uh, provincial park that we're camped in um, and we're just kind of nestled amongst these uh, tall spruce trees you can't actually see any mountains around us right now because it's an overcast day and unfortunately there's a lot of fire smoke in the air forest fire smoke but uh, it's beautiful and we're definitely well out of the Great Plains and um, into the Rocky Mountains it's still a bit of a trek to Jasper but we're gonna camp there tonight it's on our way and hopefully do a hike today um, kind of a chilly day and not the nicest day for our uh, time in Jasper. We're supposed to get some rain, but um, you get what you get, so we're going to deal with it. And yeah, Tori and I are just going to um, take down the tent, uh, have a coffee, get a bite to eat, and um, hit the road. Before long, we'll be in Jasper. Good morning, Wes. Good morning. Uh -huh. Good morning. Hey, honey. Good morning. Help. Help. Mm, there you go, buddy. Na, 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 na. Here. Did the uh, morning routine at giving Wesley his tummy medicine. Um, he has some, you know, problems with digestion and pain that comes uh, like uh, in his, you know, gastrointestinal kind of pains. We think and. Uh, this uh, medication we give to him before he eats and we wait about 20 minutes and that uh, kind of coats his tummy and means that he's a lot more comfortable throughout the day. So I gave that to him and then um, he eats his breakfast and then we give him his seizure medication which is yummy, tastes like creamsicle. So he doesn't mind that at all. Uh, today it was a bit rough because um, you have to buy it in pill, you have to buy the tummy medicine in pill form and open it up into little balls but then it like, you have to pour it in and wash it down his mouth because you can't swallow a full pill. Well, today, unfortunately, my spoon, I didn't realize, was kind of wet, so all the little balls stuck to it. So it was a little bit more of a, a, a struggle trying to get it all into his mouth. Um, but anyways, it really helps him. High five. High five. Yeah, high five. Okay. So the morning routine has been keep Hudson corralled in the trailer for as long as we can while we get coffee ready and Wesley's breakfast ready. Okay. And then when, once he wants out, Jim basically takes him exploring while I do everything else to get us packed up, which I don't mind doing because I am very particular about how I want things packed up in the trailer. Frankly, I don't tr trust Jim to do it the way that I want him to do it. So. I'm okay with him taking Hudson away from here and I can do things the way that I want to do them and hang out with Wesley, the little angel. Hey buddy. So it seems to be working because it burns off a lot of energy for Hudson and then he's ready to get in the car and uh, drive for a while. So that's how we've been doing it and um, that's probably how we're gonna continue doing it until we get to Telegraph Creek. Hey Wes, yeah, you want more, sorry buddy. On a little adventure guided by Hudson, Huddy likes to uh, go for a rip in the morning when he gets up and uh, we need to take all the opportunities for him to burn off energy as possible. So oftentimes I've been uh, following Huddy on his morning adventure and Tori's been uh, doing the final things of packing up at camp. <laughs> What do you got there, hun? These are those uh, dehydrated hash browns from uh, Costco. You just add water, let it sit, and then uh, fry them up. Thank you. 
Hudson. He's running away. He's gonna harass the neighbors. Yummy. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> eat this? Eat this. Eat this here. Uh -uh. What's this, bud? What's this? This is my cute big cup, bud. We have um, about six days left before we start paddling the stikine, so we need um, we need to make sure we have enough food to be on the road because there's going to be a long stretch where um, you know there's not many services or grocery stores and things like that. So ideally, from here on out, we can be pretty self-sufficient um, and have everything we need. So I'm just going through all the food. My original plan when I packed for the trip was I packed five days of food and then I was gonna resupply uh, for the final five days. So we're pretty much right on track. We are, we do still have food left. So I just wanna just take a bit of an inventory, figure out what we have and what we need and go from there. You missed the owl last night. There's an owl last night. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A really loud owl. Last night I found a gigantic spider inside of the trailer crawling around on my bed, which is my worst nightmare. This is part of the reason why I'm particular about packing the trailer because we take things out every night, leave it outside, and then we put it back in the trailer while we're traveling. So now I'm going to be extra careful about putting a spider, a gigantic spider specifically, into the trailer. Put this uh, blanket, it's like a picnic blanket, but it's got the waterproof layer underneath. And I leave a little space so that we can change diapers right here and not be getting it all over our blankets. And also because we put like the chairs and the tent and everything in there. So I just want like a layer, try to keep my blankets clean, but there's only so much I can do. We finally got a new baby carrier since I've been carrying Wesley on my front for since Hudson was born pretty much. So now Wesley and I will have a much more comfortable hike. You know what will be good about getting more warm things to go sure that would be just it's just cold i just don't i don't want huddy to be cold you know yeah i know me neither i don't want huddy whip the out of <laughs> the whiskey jack delighted with a pretty epic sighting of what our bighorn sheep none of them with the huge uh, big horns but that's what they are they're sheep and uh, some of them just hanging out in the hills and on the rocky outcrops of the mountain right beside the highway 
really neat to just kind of pull over and take a good look at those. I've been here a few other times and haven't seen sheep in large numbers like that. The only problem is that the views are pretty obstructed by the uh, uh, smoke and just in general cloudy day, but it looks like it's getting nicer. It is a cold day and Tori and I are like a little concerned that we don't have enough warm clothes. We also forgot gloves for the kids and sort of thinking that we might pull the ripcord on camping in Jasper tonight. We might just go into the village of Jasper and pick up a last few things because this next leg of our journey is going to be going through some pretty remote areas. He's up the Cassiar Highway. You got to be more self-sufficient when you're traveling there, which we are, but we want to, you know, get a few, make sure we have enough food for this overlanding adventure and then uh, head down the Telegraph Creek Road, which is about 185 kilometers long. We're going to do a small hike in Jasper, nothing super ambitious. Uh, maybe drive in towards Moline Lake and check out, uh, there's a cool little canyon in there and uh, just pick up a last few things before we head into northern British Columbia. Views are definitely obstructed today. He loves it. He already can sense this is super cool. Hey bud, you want to see Meline Canyon? You stoked or what? Oh, look honey, look. Yeah, we can move the picnic table and you could just set it up right there. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Ryan. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. How do you do? Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Everything smells like butter chicken now. You want to get the fire going, Hud? What about you, Wes? Do you want to get a fire going? Can you find some little sticks, Hudson? Little yeah. sticks for kindling? Yeah, I can. Okay. Here, grab that, huh? Yeah, someone took that for me. Very good, 
Well, we are camped here on the Fraser River. Beautiful, beautiful spot, um, really smoky, and th that smoke rolled in, apparently just like a day before we showed up in the area. Beautiful backdrop of the mountain, which you can still see regardless of the smoke. And we've really enjoyed our time here. We're just nestled in uh, by the lake in the campground. Uh, tomorrow, you know, we, we don't have an insane distance to make it, but we're gonna make it to the Cassiar Highway tomorrow and uh, maybe explore a little side trail that's uh, gonna be pretty spirited. So that might be a thing to do in the morning, although we have to do laundry. Uh, the kids' clothes are all, you know, destroyed, food on them, sh pissed, etc. So we need to uh, do some laundry. So um, fortunately, we'll, we'll find a place in town to do that <clears throat> and maybe, uh, yeah, get some more adventures in for sure. But uh, yeah, tomorrow we're going to be heading into some uh, remote areas and uh, into northern BC. So I'm really looking forward to it. Well, good morning. So a uh, heavy rain, very heavy rain that picked up around probably one in the morning and went all through until about 7 a.m. Tori my hero got up in the rain and put up the tarp while I snuggled in the tent so what can I say um, anyways what's cool is I woke up and what was a view that was blocked by smoke yesterday has cleared up to reveal these beautiful snow-capped mountains just uh, beside the Fraser River here where we're camped in BC so pretty awesome and uh, really excited um, to uh, head on and see the rest of our trip too but we're going to take a bit more time this morning and uh, do some laundry should i get a fire going sure okay Really looking forward to seeing what the future has to hold. Tori and I are a little concerned about, um, you know, the Telegraph Creek Road and our canoe trip on the Stikine. Do we have everything? Are we organized enough and all these things, especially when you're traveling out here with the kids, it adds an extra blanket of uh, things that need to be done and concerns as well. So we're gonna 
not rush when we get there we're going to take a whole day if we need it to just go through everything double triple check make sure we have everything before we push off and start our canoe trip into alaska